and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a flip through of the Belba family book Mystery Mosaics Wow Animals or should I say Wow Animals because we have an exclamation mark. So this is a um, 30 illustration book. It's a colour by number so on the outside back cover we do have a list of all the colours from the palette. There's 22 colours in the palette and then we do have some example pages of what these colour numbers colour by numbers look like. Obviously this is something we kind of need because if you've seen these kinds of books before then you'll know that the illustration inside which is made up of these little boxes full of numbers aren't particularly good at showing you what the image you are colouring is going to look like. So yeah we get the outside front cover of the horse and then we get uh, five more illustrations shown on the back what they look like coloured in. So I will do a flip through to the best of my ability. Obviously this is going to be a fairly quick flip through because who wants to look at 30 pages of just plain boxes but I have coloured a couple of in for you. I got this, um, got this four or five days ago at the weekend. I've been putting off buying a mosaic book because I feared that it would be either something I love or I hate and I love them so predictably I am a little bit addicted already I'm having to force myself to put this book down as opposed to otherwise I would just go through it do nothing else have the book done in a week at this rate but I've just done a few which means you at least get an idea of what some of the pictures look like and none of them are the pictures that are on the cover so you'll get another idea of a few of the images that are inside so I will open it up. We do have a This Book Belongs To page. Uh, there are no numbers in the donuts here. So if you want to colour those in, you'll have to go freestyle, choose your own colours. Then we have a little page here about, a little, saying just a little bit about the Mystery Mosaic books and pointing out that there is an alternative way of colouring these books. You can obviously do it by the block method where you fill in the entire square with your colour or you can do something which is the, they say they call it by the crosses or the stitching colouring. Basically most people I've heard refer to it as the cross stitch method because you are just inside each box you just put an X instead of colouring it in. It's it produces a good effect, uh, but it's a much more subtle effect. So it depends what you want your end pictures to look like. If you want something to be subtle, or if you want something to be really punchy and bold. Then we get ourselves a content page. As I say, there are 30 illustrations in here. It, what a really nice feature is they do give us page numbers, and each page does have a folio on it. So that is very handy. I like books that give us page numbers it makes it a lot easier to find things if we want them a particular thing and then the next page we get is a try your palette so again we had the colors on the back cover but here if you want to go through all your pens or your pencils to find your match and then they do it's not perforated but they do give us a little dotted line so you can cut this page out and then you could just use this when you're doing each picture you could, if you take this out then you can just like slot it in and have it with you when you're colouring in the page. Save you flipping back and forth. Um, the way I actually did it is I found all my colours in markers and then I put a little sticky number on the bottom of my marker to correspond with this. So I don't actually use the palette. When I pull out my pens, I just pull out, they'll all be sitting beside me and they've got numbers on the actual pens. Now... One last thing I'll mention as well before we go into these pages, and it's quite a nice touch. We have we see it here on the white paper, the animal footprints. Now the backs of these images are all printed black, but we do still have the silhouette of the footprints, which I thought was a really nice touch. It's only a little thing. It doesn't make it easier or harder to colour or anything, but it's just one of those nice little unnecessary extras that they give us that makes just a, that little teensy bit extra nicer anyhow so as I say I won't go through these pictures at the moment with the numbers in in detail 
I will mention, so this is the one that was on the outside back cover. This was uh, this one. And you can see on some of the pictures, you know, the outline of the image that you're colouring. So not all of them are completely blind. But obviously they are small three millimetre square boxes with lots of numbers. I find that they are quite easy to read because whilst the numbers are in, you know, it's, this is all in grey, it's quite a dark grey, so I, I didn't find it too much of a struggle. However, I did find it was a bit of an eye strain if I tried to do the whole picture in, in one go, if you know what I mean, in one sitting. Especially when you get to numbers like, well, you can't see it on this one, but when you get to the double figure numbers, if you get something like 15 and 16 all sitting next to each other, then I went a bit cross-eyed, I suppose, in a way. Um, so yeah, from that point of view, there was a little bit of eye strain, but that's only because I went wild and tried to do the whole picture in one go. If you take good, you know, take a little screen break, it's not a screen break, a picture break, just to um, refocus your eyes for a little bit, have a cup of tea, and then you can go back to it. I won't dwell on these pictures because they are obviously just numbers and squares, but we will get to one that I have coloured. Now this one was I think called Pigs in Love, it's very sweet, very cute. Um, I elected to do this, the block method, to fill it in because I really quite like how the colours um, are, are brighter and punchier. I'll show you an example in a, in a short while of, compared to a cross stitch one that I've done. You'll see the difference. But this one, I, I like that he's punchy. The one thing I would mention, I, I've done three pictures. Coincidentally, all of them had this dark, which is number 16, dark blue background. And I found out by the end of the third picture, which was this one, my marker was starting to get a little bit stressed with lack of ink. So if you do decide to do this book in solids, then just bearing in mind that you want to start it with a with juicy markers. Because as I say, after three pages of doing three pages with these dark blue backgrounds, they um, it was starting to take its toll. I did have a look at some of the other images. They don't all have dark blue backgrounds. It was kind of just my bad luck that I chose to do three on the trot like it. But yeah. That is the one disadvantage to doing it with the block method. And I don't know if you can see the alcohol marker has bled through, but because of the black background, you can't see much of it. You just see a shadowing. So if alcohol markers staining through the page annoy you, then this is nice because it covers it up. So I'll just skip ahead to another one that I've done so that you can see it. Okay, so this one, I'll turn it around. I know I said I've done it and you're looking at a blank page. This one was called Unicorn Dreams. Now, when I got this book, I'd seen a number of people who had all done it with the cross stitch method. And I was like, yeah, that's really nice. I really like it. But at the time, apart from the outside cover of the, uh, cover of the book, I'd not seen anybody doing it in the block method or, or hardly at all. I was like, oh, which way do I want to do it? So I took a photocop well, I took two photocopies of this image and basically with a view to doing one block on one cross stitch and then I would see exactly which I would prefer for myself. Because you know, when it's only sometimes when you do something yourself, you get to realise what your preferences are. So this is what it looks like with the cross stitch method. As I was saying before, this is a much subtler effect if you do cross stitch. Um, I did this with fine liners. And to be fair, I don't use my fine liners very often, so it was quite nice to bust them out. But when you compare it to the other version I did, which was with the alcohol markers, obviously this packs a punch. When you compare the two, I just, in uh, both ways are nice. I like both ways, it's quite, maybe I should buy another book and do one all cross stitch and one all bold, 
but for now I've elected to do my images with the fill in the thing because especially as I'm doing this with alcohol marker so the colours are much brighter in general anyway but yeah I just thought you might want to see what it looked like doing the same image but in the two two ways and when I do this image again in the book I will probably do it the block way because I do seem to prefer that even though it eats up all my marker ink and then lastly I'll just go to the next page because this is the third page that I've done in it so this was banana parrot I don't know why he's got bananas is he trying to eat them and is someone throwing them at him I mean I don't know maybe it's a monkey parrot war but anyway banana parrot um, it's again it's very bright and personally I think if I'd done this one using the cross stitch method it wouldn't have looked half as good as it does this way so yeah that is the rest of it obviously there's no point in showing you much of what's going on in here I mean you can see that some zebras or zebras there but the rest of the book is obviously just squares and numbers and then at the back we do get a little spread where you can test your mediums you get the nice paper I might actually cut that paper because there's nothing on that one I might actually cut that out of the book I could use that for something because it is quite cute those footprints but yes it's a place you can test your um, pencils or your markers to find out what bleeds and what doesn't right so that is the flip through and review of mystery mosaics wow animals yeah I hope you found this flip through review helpful if you did give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it as it does help the channel and yeah thanks so much for watching I hope you're all keeping well. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.